uh, Tel Aviv. Um, we've already been through Calcutta. I'm sure you saw, or hopefully you saw, the vlogs that uh, we posted for you. Um, then we went off to Dubai uh, for the Dubai Literary International uh, Festival of Literature, which was great. And to those of you who attended, I really appreciate all the support and um, I really enjoyed my time with you. And now I'm here in Tel Aviv and it's been just a tremendous, tremendous experience as well. Um, I was so, so pleased to see all the people at the Lead Widow at the title event yesterday. Thank you for the incredible support. Thank you for sharing this vision I have to spread, uh, the idea that every single one of us has natural leadership uh, power deep within us. Uh, there's really two types of power, isn't there? There's the power that you have uh, from a title and your station in society, maybe how much money is in your bank account. That is a certain type of power that that brings to you. But as we both know, there's a much deeper power and a much sustain more sustainable power. And that's the power that we have uh, by virtue of being human. So no matter what you do, uh, where you work, throughout the organization, throughout society, you have the power to show leadership in that role. And again, I thank you for helping me spread that message throughout organizations, throughout communities, throughout nations, really. So uh, here in Tel Aviv, it's, uh, it's exciting, it's a frenetic place, a place that really doesn't sleep a lot like New York City in many ways. Um, and off uh, to Jerusalem right now to meet um, President Shimon Perez, a wonderful chance to reconnect, uh, and then an event tonight. And then after that, we have a few more things to do here in Tel Aviv and off to Nairobi for the final leg of the tour. So I hope you've been uh, enjoying the blogs, the vlogs, and I'll keep on shooting some, some video footage so you get a sense of what the drive out to Jerusalem is like. Uh, and then when we get off to Nairobi, of course, lots more footage to come. So thanks so much. Keep leading without a title. Thanks so much for your support. I'm here, uh, we're in Jerusalem finally, we made it on the road over, and here's a taste of what Jerusalem looks like, uh, just as the sun is setting. Actually magnificent architecture, and you can just feel the energy of this place, it's very, very special. It's that combination, uh, like so many cities, of a rich historical past and tradition, yet Lots, uh, lots modern. Hi, well I just left Mamila, which is here in Jerusalem. It's a new area. And if you see over here, there's actually the city of David. Uh, so King David actually built uh, old Jerusalem right here. And it's just a, a pretty stunning evening. The sun is setting. And you'll get a sight of both the modern mixing with uh, the traditions of here. And we're going to be going through one of the gates uh, right into Jerusalem right now, into Old Jerusalem, and then I'm going to show you the view from uh, on top of the roof. Now entering uh, the Muslim side of uh, Jerusalem, and uh, again, it's just fantastic. You can see the, the markets right here as I walk through, uh, as we get closer to where I want to take you so we can get to the rooftop. This is great. It's, it's like having you uh, walking with me through the old part of Jerusalem. And this is pretty spectacular. I mean, you can see all the different, uh, all the different wares in the Muslim area. And uh, all the colors and all the things that are being sold here. Taking a quick break. Um, I'm going to have a shawarma. I can't come to the Middle East without having uh, shawarma. And we're here at just this, almost a roadside cafe just outside of the village in Old Jerusalem. And uh, having a chance to have some fresh orange juice, uh, have some conversation, have some great food, uh, enjoy uh, the energy and the sense of being here in this place steeped in tradition. Uh, and just taking a little time to chill and relax a little bit. Well, uh, I promised you in early, an earlier segment of the vlog that I was going to take you right into Old Jerusalem, and here we are. There's the, uh, the Church of the Sepulchre uh, here in Jerusalem, really uh, the Christian area that you're seeing right here. And this is a very special place, only certified guides usually get in here, um, and we, we made it in. And then you can see out over uh, Old Jerusalem, you can see the Muslim area which is very, very, uh, obviously very sacred as well. And then this is now the Armenian area of Old Jerusalem. 
So really I'm standing at the center of the four quarters of Jerusalem. And it's uh, absolutely a spectacular, spectacular place to be. And then you're seeing the uh, Jewish area as the sun is starting to set. The Jewish area is on that fourth quarter. So um, I hope you enjoyed this piece of, of history and tradition uh, here in Jerusalem with me as the sun sets.